The Department of Electromechanical, Systems and Metal Engineering is one of the departments within the Faculty of Engineering and Architecture of Ghent University. In this movie, we explain our main strategic research topics and how they contribute to solving society's most pressing matters, such as health, climate change and digitizing Europe. Our research department understands the value of cooperation with other research groups within Ghent University as well as other research organizations and industry, both at a regional and European level. This ensures an enduring relationship and strategic alignment with the relevant stakeholders and provides job opportunities for our students and young PhD graduates. Our researchers are active in the fields of fatigue, fracture, tribology, wear, integrity and durability of machine components and constructions. Fatigue and fracture research includes the experimental analysis of the structural integrity and damage mechanisms of materials. In combination with advanced finite element tools for the analysis of mechanical and structural engineering problems, the findings are translated into innovative, non-destructive inspection tools to make sound decisions on costly weld repair and prolonged safe use of structures such as oil and gas pipelines. Knowledge of the interaction between corrosion and fatigue is crucial for marine applications such as welded foundations for offshore wind energy and hybrid joints used in future vessels. Different, unique and large-scale experimental setups have been designed and constructed in order to test fatigue and fracture on a real-life scale, relevant for industrial applications. The outcome of such tests is used in the definition of design rules or standards of safety-critical components. Research lines on tribology involve experimental characterization of friction and wear of advanced materials, such as fiber reinforced composites, high temperature ceramics, and various self lubricating materials, as well as computational multi physics and multi scale modeling of lubricated rough surfaces and wear processes. We gather novel insights for applications, such as machining operations, drawbridges, mooring lines, locks and drivetrain components and material damage in implants and prostheses. Equipment is also available to study the impact dynamic properties of materials and structural components. Using this infrastructure, the crash worthiness of cars and plane components, or more generally, the resistance of materials and structures to impact loads can be determined. The department disposes of facilities to produce almost any metal alloy and to impose the thermal mechanical treatments required to fabricate metal products with a unique combination of properties matching the societal needs of the 21st century. Advanced microscopy allows the in-depth investigation of the microstructure and to reveal the physical mechanisms underpinning the observed properties. In order to further explore and improve material properties, our researchers also make use of advanced models, including different length scales from the macroscopic world to the realm of subatomic distances. Next to material sustainability, the department directs its expertise on machines and systems where heat and flow are the main energy carriers. In the transport sector, heat is converted into work during the combustion of fossil fuels. Internal combustion engines can be turned into a more sustainable and scalable technology if renewable fuels are used. In the department, there is a strong focus on liquid renewable fuels such as alcohols because of the advantages in energy density, storage and distribution. Power output, efficiency and emissions are studied with several experimental engine test benches and an optical combustion chamber. Thermal machines convert heat into electricity, cooling capacity or even heat at higher temperatures. Waste heat can be stored for later use. The focus is on flexible systems which increase energy efficiency and consequently support the energy transition to renewable sources. 
This is achieved by experimental testing of novel thermal machines and their components. As a result, our research contributes to formulating technical solutions for the reduction of CO2 emissions. Experimental research is supported by numerical simulations and optimization techniques focusing on the interaction between fluid flows and flexible structures in order to improve their efficiency and extend their lifetime. For example, to prevent ruptures and failures, we study the flow-induced vibration in two bundles of heat exchangers. We calculate the deformation of wind turbine blades and the resulting change in power output. The power output of wind turbines also depends on the electrical drivetrain system. Research on electric drives relates to electrical machines, their power electronic supply and their controller, aiming at improving the drive performance. Smarter electric drives, ready for industry 4.0, can handle environmental variations they encounter during their lifetime by making decisions based on innovative system identification, modeling and monitoring approaches supported by digital twin technology. For instance, the temperature dynamics of a system provides insights for control and design to improve efficiency. We develop and numerically optimize new drive architectures with higher efficiency, power density, or a better dynamical behaviour and increased reliability. Such new drive architectures include modern electrical machines designed with advanced finite element models, cutting-edge control techniques and advanced power electronic supplies with suitable modulation. Amongst others, the lab studies electrical variable transmissions with double shaft output control for automotive applications and axial flux machines with modular coils and modular power electronics which increase their reliability, important for mechatronic systems. In our labs, we work on dynamic modeling, control and design of these mechatronic systems. Our researchers exploit model-based techniques to design dynamic control strategies that look ahead to optimize future performance. Such strategies allow to maximize the energy harvest of wind farms, to increase the driving range of smart electrical automotive products by power splitting, and to minimize energy consumption of machines with repetitive tasks. To study these systems, we use both electromechanical emulators and CAD-based machines that can mimic real-world scenarios. Our labs also feature a range of robotic manipulators, from small servo systems to study the basic principles to large industrial robots that allow us to push the state of the art. Mechatronic research often relies on accurate, dynamic system models. Non-linear vibration models allow us to develop and tune passive dampers for structures and machinery to increase safety and longevity. Additionally, the department develops mechatronic systems with dynamic control to test prostheses under patient-specific conditions to ensure the best performance for each patient. We also devote research to innovative medical platforms, such as our lung function measurement device and our pain assessment setup. These platforms improve patient outcome and comfort by offering a more flexible and precise treatment. Our researchers do not only focus on the maximization of future performance of mechatronic systems, but also on the performance of renewable technologies in existing power grids and on their applications in residential and industrial areas. The department has a long tradition in photovoltaic and wind energy research. For wind energy, we focus, for instance, on the provision of ancillary services to the transmission grid. Our photovoltaic energy research deals with the integration of solar panels combined with energy storage systems in residential areas. Integrating renewable energy sources in power grids are accompanied with two major challenges, their intermittent character and the power quality. We are studying the electromagnetic compatibility behaviour and power quality of renewable energy sources to ensure no harmful interferences with other devices on the grid occur. A different avenue of research entails compensating the intermittent behaviour by demand-side response, flexibility of electric power consumption. 
The clustering of individual demand-side response units into virtual power plants or local energy communities is a more recent line of research, and pioneer research on microgrids has since been carried out. Driven by excellent research, the Department of Electromechanical, Systems and Metal Engineering of Ghent University contributes in this way to society's most pressing and challenging matters.